Because, you know, <laughs> we've been teased the last couple of days about this big move. This big move that's going to be made. Right now, it, 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 correct me if I'm wrong. So Jerry Jones, who just got to Indianapolis because of a lot of wind. I don't know if it was his wind or if it was the winter storm that blew through town. Either way, maybe it's a, it, it's a vortex with the hot air that Jerry's blowing around right now, along with that winter storm that it's just making tornadoes all over the place. Because I realize we're being baffled by bullshit again. We've been teased about a big move that's coming. Now we're told, well, you know, when your quarterback is, you know, a premier quarterback, you know, and, and you got to pay him that you can't, you, you got to rely on younger talent. You know, this is the Charlie Brown syndrome. Joanne Gonzalez, what's up, JoJo? Lady Libra, Lady Libra, Dallas Cowboy for life. What's up? We've been teased about a big move that's going to be made. And now we're hearing that, you know, we need to surround them by young talent. Let, let me give you another quote from Jerry Jones. <laughs> Cowboys owner Jerry Jones said, young talent will be the key to the team's success in 2023. But caution, caution. Hey, warning, warning, warning. Not to rule out signing a prominent veteran in free agency. If team believes he can be a difference, would make a move in a New York minute. How is this different from, you know, if I knew, if I knew that uh, all I got to do is write a check to get to the Super Bowl. There's no check out there that I wouldn't write to get there. Please tell me that we're not getting a snow job like that storm that just came through California and Nevada. You know, I, I, I swear it was one hellacious storm because they had snow in L.A., snow in, in, in you know, at, at around the Hoover Dam, snow in El Paso. Is this the Jerry Jones snowstorm? the hot air front that's coming through because I feel like we are being baffled by bullshit again. We are going to be again relying on the young talent. Remember last year when he said, you know, Jay, that Jalen Tolbert, that third round drafted quarterback, you're going to be surprised at how good he is. He's, he's got all of the intangibles. It was kind of like when you heard him talking about uh, Brandon Wheaton. He, you know that Brandon Wheaton, he throws one of the prettiest passes that you've ever seen. It just ended up being that was to the other guys. It just was it seemed like it was going to the other guys. So let me let me recap what we're getting. Tay Cowboys, what's up, Tay? We heard that they're open to a deal for Diggs as well as for CD. They're talking to Leighton Van Der Esch, but, you know, Leighton Van Der Esch and Donovan Wilson, but right now, you know, it doesn't look good with Donovan Wilson, and there's no movement with, with Van Der Esch. The Tony Pollard and his agents are talking with, with them, and if they don't get a deal before Tuesday, they will tag him. And then also... Jerry was talking about Dalton Schultz. 
and saying that, you know, we've, we're, we're, we're evaluating the situation, you know, with the new offense. Allen Williams. What's up, Allen Williams? Take the money out. All of it. Yes, Allen. So we have heard the basically the only person we we haven't heard anything about coming back is like Cooper Rush. That's like Cooper Rush. We just talked about now, Jerry. Now, now again, Jerry is. He, here's what I kind of say about Jerry Jones. What I kind of say about Jerry Jones is, if you've ever been to the dog track, they have like the fake rabbit that jumps out and goes on around, and the dogs, you know, the dogs, you know, they're chasing after it. Okay, Jerry Jones is the jackrabbit. Jerry Jones goes out there and says all the crazy shit. That gets us all excited. Lola, what's up, Miss Hot Sauce? That gets us all excited. All excited about, you know, oh, you know, we got we got big play. And then you have Stephen Jones, who usually doesn't bullshit you. I can say a lot of things about Stephen Jones, aka Catboy, but Stephen Jones doesn't bullshit you. Generally speaking, when he told you last year, we believe in our own guys, there you go. We re-signed our own guys. When he said, we don't believe that going out and signing a bunch of free agents is the way to build a team, they didn't go out and sign any free agents. So I will say, Jerry Jones is the jackrabbit that's going out and making all these things that's a distraction Stephen Jones and Will McClay and those guys are actually making the decisions. Here's what I wish would happen. Here's what I wish that would happen. Because, you know, I, I guess in, in regards to being a YouTuber or being in the news, the Cowboys are great for business. Because they're constantly giving you all kinds of stuff. There's no other team that anybody is talking about out there. I mean, they're, they're talking a little bit about Derek Carr, which to me is kind of great. You, you're hearing about Daniel Jones, who's going to get over $40 million for his contract. And I'll get back to that in a little bit. But you've got everybody going ape shit over the Cowboys. Mike Fisher can literally say, the Cowboys are intrigued by C.J. Stroud, and they literally take that to the point of, well, Dak Prescott's been put on notice and that he is going to be replaced. Everybody focuses in on the Cowboys. We get sucked in. I really wish, because expectations are the building blocks of resentment. What do we hear for Stephen Jones? You know, we're going to be a player this year. Shout out to John McGrew, tailgate member, 24 months. Woohoo! My bell's over there. Ding, 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 ding. Shout out to John McGrew. Stephen Jones has already said, hey, we're, we're, we're working on something big. We're going to be a player in free agency. Jerry Jones is now, we're, we're going to rely on the young town. We're going to bring Zeke Elliott back. We've heard that they're going to bring back Tyron Smith. We're okay with Tyron Smith's contract. You know, maybe we do something with that. Maybe we don't, but, you know, we want Tyron back. We want Zeke back. You know, so we're over the cap by $7 million. You're talking to Donovan Wilson and Leighton Van Der Esch. There's no money to pay them at the moment. Right? There's Dalton Schultz who's hanging out there, right? But you're going to hold on to Zeke. You're going to franchise tag Tony Pollard. And and the big move, oh, I get it. <laughs> the big move is we not making any moves. That's our big move. We stand pat. The Cowboys... The Cowboys are playing blackjack. And they got 11 sitting there. They got 11 sitting there. Right? 11. Say a five and a six. 
And the dealers got 17 showing. We gonna stay pat. We gonna stay pat right there. We're not gonna put no more money on that. Knowing, knowing that they're gonna bust. That's the time to double down, bro. I'm sorry, 16. Excuse me. Let me, let me come on. He got 17 showing. You got 11. Double down. Take a chance. Chances are you got a 10 coming up. You're going to get 21. I don't even know where to go with this. I, 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 I don't even know where to go with this, y'all. I was actually feeling excited, feeling good, being hopeful. Until Jerry Jones got to Indianapolis and opened his mouth. I literally was Charlie Brown, ready to kick the football. And damn it if Jerry Jones ain't Lucy. Damn it if he ain't Lucy. Pull it. <laughs> you got it, Lucy? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Whoops. Pulling it right away from us. Somebody help me. Somebody tell me I'm wrong. Did they sign a kicker? That's a big move. Y'all got a running game and good wide receivers. At Eagles for life. Wildcat. Jerry is mothballs the last 10 years. Mark, you just got to keep your expectations low. Don't expect anything. Take Cowboys. Damn. 